In the previous slide, we talked about divisor class group. And here we discuss a particular example, class of PN is integers. So the proposition is, so first of all, let us define this degree of a hypersurface. So degree of Z denotes degree of a irreducible hypersurface. So degree of an irreducible hypersurface Z in Pn. Yeah, so it is defined by some homogeneous polynomial and you take the degree of the polynomial. And you extend this function degree by linearity to the group of divisors. So extending the function by linearity means, you know the group of divisors would be nothing but summation ni times di where di will be the divisors. And then you just go inside it and you just take the degree of the hypersurfaces inside or degree of the core dimension one varieties inside. So obviously we are talking about core dimension one varieties in Pn. So then a divisor D belonging to this divisor of Pn is principal if and only if it has degree 0. And the induced map from class of Pn to integers. So you go from class of Pn to integers via the degree map. This map is an isomorphism. So from class of Pn to integers is an isomorphism. And that is what we want to show. So again, since we are considering divisors on Pn, we are going to consider core dimension 1 sub varieties of Pn. So the simplest core dimension 1 sub variety of Pn you can think of as the hypersurface. So H is the hypersurface and you know from the equation of the hypersurface that its degree is 1. So you can say the degree map is onto. After all you can just take this hypersurface and put any integer in front of it. You can get a map to integers. So you just say 2 times hypersurface, 3 times hypersurface and so on. Since degree is 1, the degree map will just give you 2 times 1 or 3 times 3 times 1 and so on. Now we want to show that the kernel of this map consists of exactly principal divisors. So say f is element of k, p and star. So the, we have to show that this f lies in the kernel. Yeah, it is a principal divisor. Now f is of the, of the form p by q, but since we are on the space pn, both numerator and denominator have to have equal degrees. So p is of homogeneous of degree d, q is of homogeneous of degree d. Now you write p is a polynomial, so you just decompose it into its irreducible factors. Then you can set yi as the vanishing set of some polynomial pi. Similarly for denominator, you write it as the decomposition of certain irreducible polynomials. Again you set say zi as the vanishing set of qi, uh, say vanishing set of qj. yi and zj are irreducible hypersurfaces in Pn. Precisely because P, I and Q, J are irreducible. So we have decomposed P and Q into irreducible polynomials. So what is divisor of F? A divisor of F is I is equal to 1 to R, M, I and the corresponding hypersurface Y, I minus. So we have just taken the numerator minus the denominator. So we have all the 
we have taken into account all the hypersurfaces corresponding to the irreducible polynomials. Pi's are going to yi's in the numerator and qj's are going to zj's in the denominator. Now you take the degree of divisor of f. Now we have already said that the degree map extends by linearity. So that means it just goes inside and you get degree of yi inside. and degree of zj inside. Now this is nothing but degree of the polynomial p and this is nothing but degree of polynomial q. Yeah, because degree of yi is nothing again but degree of pi. So yi is the hypersurface. So for it, the degree you take of the corresponding polynomial and degree of p is equal to degree of q is equal to d. So degree of p minus degree of q is zero. Now going in the opposite direction, so say d is a divisor with degree of d is 0. Now we just reverse the entire process. So since uh, its degree is 0, we can write it like this. Now again it is a divisor, so it is just a bunch of integers thrown together with uh, hypersurfaces of co-dimension 1. So we just separated our uh, divisor into positive part and the negative part. Since the degree is 0, we have to make sure that the degree of yi and all that summation is equal to nj degree of zj. So then that way when you take the subtraction, it will be 0. So this will imply degree of d is 0. So this is our assumption to start with. So, so say pi is the irreducible polynomial which defines yi and qj is the irreducible polynomial which defines zj. So now you construct a polynomial p and polynomial q. So polynomial p is just product of p1, m1, p2, m2, all the polynomials which correspond to the irreducible co-dimension 1 hypersurfaces y1, y2, y3. Similarly for q, q1 corresponds to irreducible hypersurface z1, q2 irreducible hypersurface z2, and you take corresponding integers in the numerator. So what is degree of p? So degree of p is nothing but uh, degree of, you take summation and degree of individual polynomials. But pi is equal to the hypersurface yi because pi generates this hypersurface yi. And this is equal to nj times degree of zj by the star. Yeah, because that is what we started with. Now this is equal to just the polynomial because polynomial qj defines zj and this is nothing but degree of q. So you see degree of p is equal to degree of q. So we can say p by q lies in kpn because now it is a fraction of degree 0. Degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator and you can see divisor of f is d. So the important thing we have shown is that every divisor of degree 0 is principal. So every divisor of degree d equal to 0. So d equal to 0 is principal. And we can use the same principle and the same argument to show that this class of this product p1n1 times p2n2 p raised to the power n2 all the way to p and r is nothing but r copies of z.